This is the push-up to rotation. So looking at your push-up position, you want to think you're going to push somebody away. So my hand should be directly in front of my shoulders. If I make my way to the ground, it should look just the same. From there, I'm going to lower down so my hips and chest move together. Elbows come out at about 45 degrees. Then I'm going to push up. Once I'm up, I'm going to rotate. So I'm going to pivot my hips and chest together, push that palm to the ceiling, rotate everything back down to the ground, push up, come up, pivot, rotate. So I want to make sure as I do that, I'm keeping my core engaged. So hips and chest are moving together and I'm not just moving one versus the other. I'm going to make sure I'm all the way up, kind of push into my toes and my toes can kind of pivot with me. So I'm gonna pivot, kind of onto the sides of my feet with the toes, pivot back, and reset. So from the side here, I'm gonna look so. Straight line from my head to my heels, coming down 45 degrees with the elbows up, press, rotate, look palm to the ceiling, and then switch. So it's a good way to get upper body work, getting the whole body connected so we're rotating as one unit through the core and through the hips and not just at your lower back. It's a tough one, so if you need to make that a little easier, use a bench, use a barbell where you can incline with the hands. Same idea, hands under my shoulders, coming down, press, rotate, bring it back, down, press, Rotate other side. So I want to make sure my hips, my belt buckle, center of my chest kind of move together here. And I'm not keeping my hips down because then that movement is going to come just from my lower back. I don't want the movement to come from the lower spine. I want that rotation to come through the core hip region. So it's the push-up to rotation.